Hello world, I'm Zenit and welcome back to another let's hack of a new hack the box machine. My mic is getting destroyed, but in the meantime, the machine that we're attacking today is called Intelligence. It's a medium machine and it's about drive. Uh, it's about Windows, Active Directory, Networks, Weak Password, Kerber Hosting and SMB. Which is great because this is all stuff that I have not much experience with. I dare say that I almost suck at it, but uh, I don't for some reason. Or at least I, I'd like to think that I don't. And this plays well with the current live stream sessions that I'm doing for the Pivot API one, which is also related to Active Directory, maybe some Kerber hosting etc etc so that's gonna be like a pre-game to the live stream this saturday which i hope you'll join uh, because you know it's free so why not just join it and enjoy the company let's talk together let's solve it together blah 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 it's gonna be fun even though i just said blah 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 well okay now, what I've done so far is I've set up the whole infrastructure to work with this machine and I've run a very, very extensive Nmap scan with all these flags. So this is the scan that I ran before. I think I can even zoom in a bit so you can see it even better. This is Nmap P for all ports. Uh, skip the pinging. Script engine version all version stuff uh, os script uh, vulnerability scanning and then all output into all possible file formats that there are like now you can see it like full scan gn map and map and xml all right perfect now with that out of the way let's take a quick look at what this super extensive scan actually found is it any good can we use it and if so how okay so first of all we see that there is a website a website is always a good starting point because those are usually vulnerable to a couple of things now the automatic scan didn't find any csrf things it didn't find any dom based xss no file type field no stored xss but it found out that the server is microsoft iis so it looks like we have a couple of microsoft technologies down the line here like kerberos msrpc netbios ldap and all that other crap uh, but we also have a second http website which is weird why is that there uh, so we have two websites we could quickly check them out and check out what what kind of website those are then we have some windows rpc which may enable us to run comments from remote machines if i recall correctly <laughs> as said i have zero almost zero idea maybe about two idea if that makes any sense so i have a, not so much experience with that stuff with windows i usually do linux stuff that's that's just easier and i just prefer that but windows is a big name in the game when it comes to hacking we couldn't find any smb vulnerabilities so we likely are we likely have to work with the weak passwords and curb roasting stuff. I don't know why SMB is in there. Maybe we can exploit it even though this one didn't work. Now, if we take a look at the SMB, it didn't tell us if SMB signing is enabled or not. So maybe we'll find that out down the line. Now, First order of action is to actually find out what those websites do. Now we had two of those. One is at port 80 and, and the other is at the weird port. So let's 
let's uh, target IP this thing. So yeah, as you can see, I've structured everything in VS Code. Here I have all my nodes, which are empty as now. And I also made a file with the target IP, so I don't have to find out what the IP is every time I forget it. I just can cut it out and copy paste it. And then we can go and maybe let's do this in this space. And let's just visit this IP. So if we do nothing, we should go to port 80. Now, uh, where my face is, there's actually nothing really interesting. It's just this empty space right here. We can click on here and we are at the page top. Okay, amazing. That's fantastic craftsmanship right there. Well, so what's going on in the contact section? This is maybe something that is interesting because usually when you have a contact section, you can enter an email address. Perfect. There is a document we can download. So let's just download this document. Lorem Ipsum. Let's just save it because we can then uh, maybe, maybe, you know what, let's open this too. And then we have something in here. Let's try quickly the email thing. Does it have some form of validation? Yes, it has. What happens? The text does not get reflected. That's amazing. Okay, so not sure we can do anything in there, but what we can do is download these files. So that was file numero uno. Now let's do file numero dos. Uh, wget this one. And now we have both PDFs. And uh, I don't have the PDF plugin enabled in here, so we can't check them out in here. But the text is some lorem ipsum dolor sit amen blah blah blah. So just text that is used to fill up space now we can run exif tool on this files let's run it and then we can grab the metadata like important things like the creator over here now if you take a look at this one the creator is william lee so that tells me that there probably is a user around with that name so let's grab this. What the hell just happened? I have no idea. Uh, let's grab that. William Lee. And let's try possible users using EXIF tools and downloaded PDFs. William Lee. And the second one was, let's clear this up, EXIF tool. 2020 without the dollar sign and we have Jose Williams so we have William Lee and Jose William cool what do we do now now we have a second website that we could check out so let's do that real quick uh, we have our scan in here the port that is interesting for us there is no okay this is this is just RPC over HTTP. Let's check out what's happening on this port, which I didn't copy. That's, as always, very fantastic work done by me. But let's just copy it, go in here, paste it in here. Boom, not found. Okay, so maybe we have to get our dear buster stuff going and check out if we find something because uh there is a web server running but it also could be related to let's get rid of this it also could be really related to this uh, microsoft windows rpc over http but i don't know what http is uh, i'm guessing it's something that this Jose Williams programmed, or maybe it's just called HTTP API. Nobody knows, but we will find out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't, and let me know what you think about these videos down in the comments. Bye-bye.